What's up everyone? This is Ronnie coming to you today with a haul video. Went out yesterday. We hit up, we were out for about 11 hours. Uh, hit 10 thrift stores. A majority of them were savers. Um, we drove about 180 miles. Spent $539. And now that I do the math, I forgot that there was two things that have issues that have to be returned, and the wife bought a few things for herself. Um, so, with that being said, the total is not 100% accurate, but it's going to be accurate for what it is. Um, so, with that being said, we found um, 50, 55 items. Going to go through it uh, pretty quickly because I have someone coming over in a little bit, and I want to make sure I'm out of here in time. I think that was my wife setting off the lawn for the truck there, garage flips. You know what? I lied. It's not somebody with, like, a, a bus or a van, so maybe somebody getting a delivery. Um, but anyway, first thing we found is this. Ralph Lauren, uh, my wife found this, Ralph Lauren shower curtain, uh, paid eight bucks. Really not as, not as good as I thought it would be, believe it or not. Um, but she's keeping it. This I found, this I have no idea about. I paid $3 for this. It's a Fila. It's like a velour uh, material. But you see right there, made in Italy. Limited edition. I look some of this up stuff up. I cannot tell if this is vintage or made to look vintage or actually I'm gonna say by the actually here by it's acrylic and wool, so I'm assuming that's vintage. So right there it has that actually silver security measure on the thing. I know some of their stuff goes good. I tried to look this up to figure out what it would sell for. I know some of the uh, the tennis guy, uh, Bjork, does really well. Couldn't figure it out for the life of me. So uh, we'll see. pair of men's pants. These are just cotton. And Luciano Barvera. Pretty decent brand. Um, these are cotton. I paid about six bucks for them. They should sell for about fifty. Oh, just a quick reminder: all these prices I'm giving you, I charge shipping now for three or four weeks. I did. I tried free shipping thing. I hated it. I didn't like it. I don't do it anymore. We went back to the other way, and we changed a few different things in our store. Now we just price stuff at a price. There's no running sales. I don't like how eBay does their new sales manager thing. So I went in there, rearranged all the pricing, and I'm not messing around with running sales anymore. It's going to be one price, kind of like uh, how, um, damn it, my homeboy, does it. Pete Craigslist Hunter, you know, he doesn't run sales or anything like that. Just puts it up for a price that's uh, competitive and sells stuff. This is a heart shape from Marks. I only got it because it was new with tags. Uh, I was in this for about six bucks. Really nice pattern there. This will sell probably about fifty bucks. Charge five ninety nine to ship jeans, and I always ship them in the padded flat rate envelopes. This is a Brooks Brothers, nice blue linen. Paid five bucks, probably thirty ish. Seven for all mankind. These look like they've never really been worn. Is it relaxed fit? And these are a dark gray finish to them. Paid about eight bucks for these, and you usually get right around fifty dollars for these. Polo Ralph Lauren shorts. Paid three bucks for these. These are. Size 50, I don't know, 35, 40 bucks, probably newer tags. 
like I said, going to go through this kind of quickly here. I'll answer any questions at the end. Nice, um, like, gray window pane. This is a pair of pants, Orvis. Some of it does well, some of it doesn't. Um, I bought them, I believe they're wool. Yeah, 100% wool, made in Canada. They're a good size, too. I think they're, they're 42, and they're pretty long. So uh, probably 35 on these. I paid six. Another pair of jeans. And this is the fun part because I go out, it's me and my wife, we do this full time, and it's just fun. See, these are not your daughter jeans. These are women's size, size 12. We paid 10, probably get about at least 50 for these. They're wide leg, actually. I don't know. It depends on the cut, but um, newer tags probably get at least fifty for them. Yeah, I, I just did away um with the whole free shipping thing. I actually, free shipping is never it. I don't think it matters either way. Um, Lonnie, I will get you one of these because this is for uh, my wife's cousin. I think we have actually – I got this one. Dominican Republic has Jeep on the other side. Um, yeah, it's, it doesn't say anything in the back. But it's for their company, Samaye. And uh, if you need a hat, I'll get you a hat, homie. If you replace that damn ugly hat you got. But this is an older Zegna tag. The reason I got this is like – three dollars or 350 but it's a nice like molding brown heavy wool pants and also they're like 44 by 30 so they should do well i'm probably only going to ask about 30 bucks for them because it is an older label maybe 35 uh, but probably sell for around 30 another pair of seven for all mankind these the seven for all mankind i only buy the men's jeans um, I don't really mess with the women's jeans all that well. These are standard. Um, like I said, paid, I think, about 7 for these these ones. I know the other ones were a little bit more. And um, 50-ish. And I just realized a shirt had a stain. So this is the third item now from this from this haul that so it's fifty four items and three are going three are going to the garbage but there's a stain on the pocket of the shirt so that ain't selling but this is just bread and butter stuff over here Brooks Brothers non iron shirt probably twenty four to twenty. Uh, Probably listed about twenty five bucks, three dollars shipping. These were five bucks. There's that one. There's this one, just blue, nothing special. This is an extra slim fit. Uh, sometimes the extra slim fit does a little better. This is about the third or fourth time I found this one. I haven't found it recently, but uh, it's rag and bone. But it's also the Target collaboration they don't go for as much these i used to get about 50 for these i probably paid a little too much i think i paid nine bucks for this 8.99 and maybe i'll get 30 35 it doesn't seem to be selling as well as it did at one time just gonna throw shit on the floor this is a woolrich vest men's paid three bucks for it it's really nice wool balloon has the Whatever that is, consider that in the back. Usually do fairly well, probably about $35, $40 on that. It's a Hugo Boss, nothing special. This was half price, so this was $250, I believe, and probably $20, $25. Every once in a while, you got to throw some cheap stuff in your store, make it happy. Thomas Paint, these used to do better. Probably their French cuffs, eh, 25-ish probably. There's a lot of good stuff coming up, so be patient. 
Oh, we got to show the garbage first, right? The low end stuff. Wool Ridge heavy, like shirt jacket here. I think this was about five. Those usually you can get 40, 35 to 50 for them, depending on the color and everything like that. Some men's Eaton shirt. These are made in, or they're from a Swedish company. These are really nice, really nice pattern on this one. They have these thick buttons that you have to be really careful with. They're really thick. And these buttons will crack in dry cleaning. So you do want to. Uh, Really want to be careful and check over the buttons because people will not buy them because of the buttons. And if you replace the buttons, people have asked me in the past, hey, have you replaced the buttons? So this one, the buttons are all good. I think this shirt was about six bucks and probably expect to get somewhere around 50 ish. It's usually for, the, for a nicer pattern like that, about 50 bucks. Foot Joy golf shirt, double uh, 1X. No. Looks like huge shirt. Sure. Just extra large blue stripe 2025. I think we paid four for it. Oh shit. Shirt was new with tags. You know what? 40, 45, 50 now. Hey, shirt just goes up. Didn't know that. Uh, imagine that. Get a little surprise every day. Chad should make some videos. I don't know what Chad's Chad's been Chad's been finding some good stuff. Chad's Chad's lying right there. Bull face lie, Chad. I'll sniff you out. It's a Paul's Paul Stewart shirt. Um, usually I don't pick this brand up too much. This is 100 percent alpaca. Um alpaca. I don't know what alpaca is. Is that like a llama? You want a llama on the shirt? It's really weird. It feels almost like a Towel, towel material. It's really weird material, but I picked it up because of the material. It just felt differently, and when I looked it up, um, probably thirty-five or so on that, maybe a little bit more. Certain, uh, certain things will go up in value. I mean, well, it's like cashmere alpaca. It's nice. Uh, da, da, da. See you guys all doing good. What's up there? We got a few people in here. I love all you people. Adam, Lonnie, Red Nickerson, Ellie Helena, Cincinnati Kicker, Alex. Okay. Get back to this. I kind of like I said. I gotta make this quick. This is a I don't know some type of Hawaiian name right there. Hal Halala. It's new with tags. It really has this cool print, though. And I was, you know, has horsies on it. Everybody loves horsies. Somebody's going to buy this. But, uh, I don't know, 35 to 50 bucks, maybe. I think I paid. We got that for five. Haven't picked up any of these shirts in a long time. We found four at the same store. And they're all paid about six bucks on average for these. Scotch and soda. It's some type of foreign – they're made overseas, I believe. I mean, they're not a, like an American-made company, I believe. I could be wrong. I could be just talking shit on my ass. But it's been a while since I picked up any of these. Um, I looked them up 30, 35-ish probably. That's one. It's a second one. They all have different – different tags on which i thought was weird so i guess they're all different uh different tags amsterdam couture so yeah i guess they are uh here we go another shirt it paid paid about seven bucks for this one southern tide i got corrected on this it's not a piranha i'd love to say piranha it's a uh what do you call that thing? Bearded Picker told me. It's a skipjack, I think. Skipjack? That's it. 
What's up, Mrs. Robinson? How are you? That's my local pick a friend. My competition. What's up, Deb? How you doing? Oh yeah, that 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 shirt, 35, 40 bucks usually does fairly well. Psycho Bunny. I haven't come across this is actually the first time I've come across one of these. Um Thought they did really well. Seems to be about a 35 shirt. I think I paid seven for this. Uh, paid seven for this shirt too. Vineyard Vines whale shirt. Has the whale on the logo. Really nice. 35, 40 on this. Hopefully getting through all the men's shirts. It's a Polo Ralph Lauren. Three extra big. This is wool, merino wool, lamb's wool. Like there's a difference in the wools. It's wool. Let's let's just keep it. And alpaca. So we got some alpaca. It's a really heavy, heavy, uh, heavy knit sweater. See the tag. Like I said, three X. It has these. Yeah, that's not. It's like it's supposed to be like suede, but that's not leather. It's like polyester, probably. But um, uh, I don't know. I think I paid. We paid like ten for that. But we found. It. I hate to put the things back the wife finds. Um, but um. You know, 40, 50 probably. Willis and Geiger. I haven't found anything by them recently. Love this brand. Unfortunately, it's just a regular blue button front shirt. Got a half off day at, a, at the Salvation Army. It was that color. I think it was like 250 or two bucks. And it's probably 25, 30 ish, but it should sell fairly well. I did really well last year selling these. I kind of held off picking any up to now. J. Crew. I picked up a few J. Crew sweaters recently. I'm gonna test the water again with them. Um, but see right there, J. Crew. This is their more recent tag. This is just really nice color sweater. It was five bucks, so I took the chance on it. Um, and it is 100% wool, but it's a good size, extra large. So here we go. This is another. This is a large J. Crew. This is a cotton and cashmere blend. Like I said, we paid about five bucks for this. Probably should do about. Uh, I'm hoping thirty-five. What's up, the crazy card? Then we got two more. These were ten dollars. J. Crew. These are newer tags. This one was. One hundred percent wool, it's brown. I'm hoping to get about fifty for it. And that way I make about thirty-five after fees and the original cost of the item. Another one, this is newer tags also. This is a cotton and cashmere one. And like I said, I'm hoping to get about fifty on that. All right, I'm getting into the suits in a minute. Oh, Found this Orvis Batacil bag. Find these pretty often. We pay 10 bucks for it. It's a little, it's not actually bad, that bad. The leather's a little uh, worn. We come across these about two or three times a year. Um, usually during yard sales, we find them pretty easily. I found this bag, I think, the last three times. It's the rolling like garment bag. And the last one we got, the wife said we got about 200 for it. And it's weird. They're always missing the strap. Unless it's inside. I have not checked. Yeah, it might be inside. I, I'm not going to bother you guys and look for it. But uh, probably have at least $150 probably for those bags. No, I'll, I'll ship that out and sell it. They always sell 
within a month's time. We've shipped a few actually to England, and I think we've shipped them to Canada. So they a lot of them do go international. This is from a suit. This is the pants for it. Here's the top. Uh, this is a Hugo Boss. Hugo Boss, it's the red label. Always check the pockets, even has the buttons. This was probably worn once to a wedding. It's a tuxedo. Pay 20. I'm hoping to get about buck fifty for it. This is where we did really well. This is a Lauren by Ralph Lauren. Uh 100% wool. I think we paid 12 for this. It's a nice uh, Glenn Platt design. And Glenn Platt and window pane-ish. But love it. That should sell for, I don't know, 75 That means I got to get going. This is a Canali men's suit we picked up. This was wool and cashmere. I think it's like 82 wool, 8% cashmere. It's like 46 long. Paid eight on that. That's probably 75 ish. This is a funky vintage Brooks Brothers. Um, Brooks Brothers. See the Brooks Brothers tag. Probably 70s, I'm guessing. It's like a cotton. This is like a, a regatta. Kind of like blazer. Paid, I think, paid like four bucks for, I don't know, 75 maybe, maybe 50. 50 to 75, I'll say. All right. Everybody seems to be doing good in the chat behaving. This is a... Vintage Burberry, no, this is a vintage Brooks Brothers Golden Fleece, probably 70s. People, there's a following for this. People love this uh, suits. They usually have the two roll three button front um, where you could be worn as a two or three button. And it usually does really well. Probably get 100, 150 for it. I did pay 20 for this one. Most of our stores charge. Twenty dollars, about fifteen dollars for a suit. So you got to be really picky. And then we had twenty percent off at a bunch of the savers yesterday. Okay, this is the vintage Burberry. Nothing to show you. It's just the pants. Show you the. Show you the tag. It's a double breasted, which has the, you know, crosses over, buttons, peak lapels, like they all do. Is the vintage Burberry's tag? They changed that in '99. Um, these actually sell really well. This is a smaller size, so this seems small. <laughs> Tags actually look really clean for a jacket that was, or a suit that's been. I don't know. I, I would say this is like 36 or 38. Really small. Um, probably get about 100 dollars for it. Maybe get a little bit more. Um, see how we're doing. What's up, Bonafide Hustler? Got Karen at the beach. How you guys all doing? This is another vintage Burberry. It has a really nice, like, wool molding design to it. It has a triple patch to it, too, which is... <laughs> I guess the price tag when they bought it new. This was $485, no, but it has <laughs> patch pockets on the bottom. They don't have the uh, the flaps for them or anything. Full working buttons, more like a, a, like a casual jacket, but really cool. 75 is probably about on this. <laughs> they probably worn it once and then never wore it again. It's pretty weird for a suit that's, I mean, a jacket that's probably... 30 years old. So what we got here, this is a Brooks Brothers Golden Fleece. 
this is their made made to order jackets and suits golden fleece see who it was made for we're not gonna put his name out there like that usually they're pretty recent more recent stuff is the better price you can command on especially suits and sport coats this was made in may of 2012 has a really nice like gray with a looks like a think blue and gold window pane see it a little bit there probably get about a hundred dollars for it or so all right not too much more to go uh, this is a belvis belfis it's a two-piece suit I haven't found one of these in a while. Belfast. B E L B A S T. About a hundred dollars, maybe a little bit more. I forgot. I haven't picked up one of these in a while. It's a really nice one. Uh paid I forgot what we paid for that. Most of these suits were between twelve and twenty dollars. And most of them were around 15 ish. So, this is a Canali. We have the to top for this too. And you always want to make sure you stay away from stripes and stuff like that, unless you have the pants. Most pinstripes um, come with pants, the suits. And it's a very hard sell if you don't have the, the jackets to go with it. And it's a Canali right here. The brown label is their more recent label. And three button front. Eh, but it seems like a big size. But uh, about $200 ish. Maybe a little less. Maybe a little more. This is a Brooks Brothers 818. This is kind of the more higher end Brooks Brothers stuff. These retail about $1,000, maybe a little bit more. And usually I can get between about 100, 100 to 150 for it. See right there, Brooks Brothers, 818 is the line. Madison or Sexton or whatever it is are the different fits of the jacket. Um, yeah. Just seen it. this was made in 2011 so this is kind of recent it has like a blue and black bird's eye i don't know if you're gonna be able to catch that yeah it's kind of hard print to it this is a i don't know what the fuck this is banana republic really nice pattern to this as you see right here um i remember there's a reason why i picked this up oh yeah I, I ripped off the tag by accident. I put it in the pocket when I was going through the rack. So it was newer tags. I'll find a way to put that back on there, or maybe I won't. But has the buttons to. But uh, I think it was about eight bucks. It's cotton. Feels like cotton. Yeah, cotton. Probably sixty to seventy-five. I I don't know. It may it may go for a little bit more. This is a suit, see, bottoms. And this is a Canali, I believe. This is a double-breasted suit. Like I said, it's double-breasted suits are not really um, in style, but some people do like them. So this is a Canali, and under it is Propasta. Pro Propasta. It's kind of a more lower line. And I'm probably get about a hundred dollars for it still, so it's not too bad. And another, this is another double-breasted suit. Here's the pants. Double-breasted, and this brand is Hugo Boss. And 
these are small. These are probably, like, they look like a size 38 or 40 or something like that. Forty, so they're kind of small, but forty is like a normal size, I think, for a person. But this will be probably like eighty to a hundred dollars. Here, right here, this is a this is the only time you want to buy a striped top or like that regatta kind of thing, something that's over the top. But see, right this here, it's a blue striped. This is called a seersucker. It's usually a cotton material. Sometimes it might be like cotton and polyester, depending on how cheap the brand is. But it has like a textured feel to it. It's almost like a corduroy, like a very fine corduroy. Uh, this brand was nothing special. It was Lauren by Ralph Lauren. But uh, usually I can get about $50 for these. It's really coming out of season for this. But uh, they do sell still. And you usually will find these in the blue here. But I found them in red and also in green coming to the end here soon and a few more suits and we got a real nice home run at the end this is another canali double-breasted suit i'm gonna be sitting on some of these double-breasted suits i think for a little while there's the top here's the bottom like i said we paid i think one of them i paid 20 and the other two I paid somewhere in the I don't remember. It's hard going back. This is a Joseph A. Bank. This is this two piece suit, I'll tell you why I bought it in a minute. Usually Joseph A. Bank, I stay away from it unless it's a larger size. This is a larger size. It's 48 long. And it has a nice, it's like a nice blue. It's a not a dark blue like you see a lot of these suits, but it is the uh, Joseph A. Bank Signature Gold, which is a little bit higher end. And this is also uh, 150s wool, which is a finer wool. Probably about $100 on this uh, inner take in that area. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little less. And she has a nice little like plaid design to it. it's kind of hard to see oh, only got two things left this is a double breasted and I picked this up by accident I kept it in the car men stuff looking for the pants and I left it in the cart um, this is another canali but it doesn't have the, the uh, doesn't have the pants but it is a little bit brighter blue. I may be able to move this along down the road. Um, guessing maybe I can get 54. And the home run of the day was this. I paid 30 for this, actually. And believe it or not, I didn't find one pair of shoes. And I didn't pick up one tie. It was just one of those things. But this is a men's overcoat it's right here brand is uh burberry it's made in italy really nice wool and cashmere blend uh really good probably hoping for about 250 on that so that's where we be at so like i said give or take we got 55 items 54 because that damn shirt had a stain in it Two other things already got thrown to the wayside. I also got a jacket for myself. Shower curtain was for the wife. The wife picked up a few other things. So the, the 539 spent was not 100% accurate. Thinking about it now. It's kind of funny how you think. But I averaged the price for everything we got, including the floor. Uh, in taking out the floor items. Items added a problem, but now it's a little bit different. But it was an average. We paid $9.80. A lot of jackets, a lot of um, suits kind of brought up the average price a bit. But it's about $65 we should get on average when everything sells. So do you pay $10 to sell it for $65 at the end? Yeah, I think it's a good deal. So we'll see what happens. and. Uh, 
It was a good day. It was probably one of my better thrift day, thrift store days. We hit 10 stores and found at least one item in every store. So that's always good. But uh, I don't think I have anything else. But that's it. I think we're not going to do a haul video after this. I can't compete with this one. But I hope you guys all have a good day. Thank you guys all for coming out. Um, like, comment, subscribe. I got to get the laundry and put the laundry in the dryer. That was that beeping before the wife went to get lunch. But uh, have a good day. Share this video with all your friends. Spam it in every Facebook group. See you guys later. Have a good day.